Uh, Dr. Gopal Batnagar is here, Chief of Staff over at Trillium Hospital. He talked about how vaping is great, vapemotion.com and vaping all over the world. It's better than smoking. It's harm reducing. But here we're here to talk about a bunch of different things. How are you, sir? I'm outstanding. Thank you very much, Todd. Not, I'll always wait for you. No problem. Oh, uh, well, no. I mean, listen, you're, you're wearing your scrubs, man. Uh, well, you know, it's, I, feel, I feel more authentic in the uh, like dressed up. <laughs> I get to go to work in my pajamas, so it's, life is good. <laughs> we, you know, it's funny, too, because it's like, okay, now he's officially a doctor. We know that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm in a name badge here and everything. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? How, how's, how's work going for it, you? It, it's been busy. We, we worked until about 1 o'clock yesterday uh, night. Or this morning, I guess, and then uh, fortunately that went very well, and then got a couple of cases in today that uh, for people, and uh, just to- then I told people, look, I got to get going. I Todd's waiting for me. <laughs> we'll put off the surgery for a moment, everybody. Yeah. Okay, put away the scalpel, put away all your machines. I'll be back. We're doing radio for eight people. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Doctor Batniger, uh, are there trends that that could be negative ones in terms of more people having heart disease? Is, is it like are, are there trends and do people do analytics on this stuff? Oh yeah, it, you know, I mean, heart disease is one of, number one killer in society worldwide. I was actually at a global health conference yesterday talking about this stuff. What we see is these trends in diabetes. You know, so I mean, obesity is going up, diabetes is going up. Diabetes is basically this horrible disease that will affect all the blood vessels in your in your body. Everywhere from, it's a, one of the leading causes of blindness in the world. It's the number one cause of amputations, kidney failure. And we see those trends going up. And the, the worst thing is we start seeing those trends uh, existing in kids now. Oh my goodness. Yeah. And so just a little closer to the mic if you don't oh, mind, yeah, Dr. Sure. Batman. Yeah, no, no, no problem. So, so children now at, at younger ages, these are the trends you're seeing that they're getting diabetes uh, uh, much younger. And, and, it, and is the reason for that, is a lot of it technology where they're not as active? Is that, is that what we think maybe? Well, certainly, you know, our day-to-day life, modern life is a lot less active than it used to be. But also there's a lot of refined foods. Parents are busy, you know, moms are busy, uh, dads are busy. It's hard to get, you know, fresh cooked food. So what do you do? You go to a package. You know, and the packages taste good, uh, but at the same time, what you got is you got a lot of stuff that's hi- highly refined uh, in there. And I think uh, we're just taking a lot of extra calories. So you see a lot of childhood obesity. That then now relates to the diabetes. So we're not seeing the typical childhood diabetes. We're seeing basically the adult type of diabetes occurring in children. Wow. And, and w- maybe the dumbest question ever, what is the youngest age someone could have a heart attack? That's good. Well, I've had... Uh, I've actually done bypass uh, on uh, on a man that's about 24. You can see heart disease in children, uh, like uh, even infants, but that's usually because, again, they have some sort of inherited problem with their cholesterol, and it's spectacularly high. But uh, unfortunately, routinely now, it's not unusual to see heart disease in people, you know, men in their 30s. Dude, you save lives, you're a heart surgeon, but you take such good care of yourself. You're really, as you said, into men's fitness. Mm. Uh, you know, how, how old are you now, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, I'll be 53 now. 53, uh, you, you, look, you look fit like a guy who'd be playing professional football to no, be honest kind of no you do you look yeah. you look like uh, like a running back or something well, like I, you're you're pretty you're you're, you're a stocky I, fit guy right I, I try and keep myself fit i mean you know my job's uh is physical so yesterday we're you know basically going for about we're going for about 18 hours yesterday and it's sort of standing it's physical so you have to be fit i want to be fit so i can do my job to be able to help people you know, and and i've i've loved to work out well, and actually, my, my trainer, when I was 50, when my trainer, Kyle Ardell, he actually convinced me to do a fitness show. So I've, once a year, I actually do these, fit, you know, these crazy fitness shows uh, where you've, you, know, you know how it is. You get like, I'm not saying that's all that healthy, but it does keep you, you, know, keep you jacked up. So you get all ripped. You oil up. You lather the body. Yeah, that's and, then right, you, yeah. and, and is there a category over 50 that you do it in? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I do the uh, – it, it's, it's horrible. It's the Grand Masters category over 50, right? <laughs> so, But you imagine there's some guys in that category that are just – I mean, they're just fantastic looking. You know, I mean, this is all natural without the use of steroids or, you know, uh, hormones and things. But the guys, they just get on – you know, you're just – you're just amazed what people can do even into their 60s and 70s if you're motivated to do it. So what advice then would you have, Doc, for, for guys who say, you know what, I'm working too hard, I don't have time to work out, or, uh, you know, I'm stressed out and i got kids running around, I don't have time to work out. You've obviously found a balance. You, do, you just did an 18-hour surgery, yet you'll still compete in competitions. Yeah. Uh, this is your lifestyle. This is who you are. Mm-hmm. So what advice can you give to people for, you know, making sure that we don't lose sight, that there is always time in the day to take care of yourself? Well, they're always, I mean, if you're running around behind your kids, that's running around behind your kids. That's activity. 
what people need is they need to set uh, the goals for themselves. You know, do you want to look like you're on the front of, you know, men's fitness magazine or muscle mag? That's a whole different, you know, thing we're talking about. But if you just want to say, look, I want to be able to be around for my kids. I want to be able to, you know, play sports with them. I want to hang out with the guys. I want to live as long as and healthy as possible. That's actually a lot easier. 90% of that is, but it's diet. You know, if you can get to the gym an hour, three or four times a week, and you really, when you're in the gym, you dedicate yourself to working out, you know, you're not eyeballing the girls, you're not chatting with your friends, you're not texting, <laughs> you're kind of like, you're at it, you know, and then you modify your lifestyle. Think of food as fuel for your body. When do you need fuel? You need fuel before you're kind of going on your journey. Your journey is your day of work, right? So in the morning, people are always running out, oh, I'm late, I'm tired, I'm grabbing a cup of coffee, I'm not having anything to eat, you know, but when, I'm, when they get home, they have this big dinner. We really need to turn that around. Hmm. So you need to make a, sure you have a good breakfast, more protein. It actually helps you stay less hungry during the day. So take your carbs when you need them, when you're going to actually use them. That's in the breakfast and lunch. I typically make a rule that about after about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, my carb intake is very, very limited. So it's things like that, that people, you don't have to necessarily eat less, less calories. But if you change away change around the way you stack them in the day, that'll make a significant difference. It's like the uh, Benjamin Button of the food diet. Like yeah, it just right. goes yeah. in reverse. Yeah, exactly. Hey, I'm Jay Brody. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and leave a comment. We read the best ones on the air. <laughs>